G'day humans, Chris Dead from Finder here. I'm on the road today. I'm at Threadbow up in the Kosciuszko National Park in the snowy mountains of New South Wales. Now, today I've got an interesting test. I've got my three sprogs here, Charlie, Jasmine and Paddy. 11, nine, six and a half. And these guys have never snowboarded or skied before. So part of my experiment on this trip is to see what your investment in ski lessons and snowboard lessons can actually do for your kid because they're quite pricey. It's $140 a day to do each of the lessons. So they're gonna do three days of lessons. We're gonna see how much these guys can upgrade themselves and level up from complete newbies to hopefully coming down the hill with me way up there at the end of the week. That's the goal, that's the hope. Uh, but we'll see how we go, eh? Luckily we've got some really good weather today. Now, uh, this one's doing free riders on snowboarding, this one's doing free riding on skiing, and the young bloke here is doing Burton Riglets, which is for uh, kids five and six, so we'll see how that goes, okay? Uh, now, kids, let me, let, me, let me ask you a quick question. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, what do you reckon? What are you excited about? I'm excited for doing, I wanna learn to get, um, be better on turning. Turning, turning big focus for you. What about you, Jazzy? I wanna have fun. <laughs> you just wanna have fun? That's a great idea. And Paddy, what do you reckon? What are you most excited about? Have fun. Have fun. Well, let's see if we can have some fun. Okay, guys, we'll get back in touch at the end of this and see how they've gone. All right, so we've just distributed the kids to their three things. The burden riglets, they go into this hut behind you, but the free riders, you can see over here, they get passed off to the uh, instructors behind the main lift that goes up the hill. Um, so just initial thoughts on that, the process is really clean and quick, you, they just scan your um, lift pass and that's all booked in and you just walk straight in. The thing you just need to know is, is that parents don't go past the gate you can see there to where the kids muster. So if you are hoping to hang out in the queue and kind of G your kid up and make sure they introduce themselves to the other kids, that type of thing, you don't get a chance to do that. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult I guess for the younger kids. Uh, my 11 year old, he just walks straight off in front of me, he's probably already coming down the hill. Uh, my nine-year-old, however, a bit sad, a couple of tears, a bit nervous. The nerves got the better of her for a bit. We couldn't quite walk her in. So that might be, I don't know, maybe it's good, kind of cold turkey like that, but that's just something to consider. So maybe prepare your kids for that fact uh, before you get here that you are going to pass them through a gate and they're going to be with the instructor from then for the rest of the day. So the sun is setting on the first day and Jazzy and me just went from the chairlift all the way down the hill together after the first day of skiing. Tell me about it, how was it? Fun. Yeah, did you make any friends? Yes. Yeah. Did you go better than you think you would? Yes. Are you proud of yourself? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and what was the best bit? That. Just then, going from down from the chairlift? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you excited about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. All right, well that's a tick of approval. Good start. Here comes Charlie, number one, after his first day of lessons. Just come down from the chairlift. How you going there, Charlie? Oh, you! We're waiting for mum to come back. Hey, what did you, what did you think of um, the lesson? Yeah. How'd you, how, what, was the, what was the best bit? Uh, probably when she showed us the jump and we tried to do 180s off it. Yeah. It was really fun. She also said that we had a turn and I picked it up quite quickly. Uh, really fun. Yeah, so you think it was worth doing? Yeah, it really worth doing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, you think you're going just went down by yourself. You, you're confident you might get up up the hill by the end of the week? Yeah, I think. I just gotta work on the steeper hills and getting my stocking. Aha, uh -huh, you fell. <laughs> <laughs> hey mate, I'm glad you had a good time. It was awesome. Okay, so a bit of an update. Uh, we're now seeing it's now the evening of day two, so the kids have now done two days of lessons. Uh, I am personally extremely tired and buggered after Hitting the slopes for two straight days, I guess that's something that we have to talk about is that you're definitely paying for a daycare option here as much as anything else. Um, so the kids have been in these classes from 9 to 3.45 and I've just been blasting them out in, uh, the entire time. So uh, I'm, I've had a really good time. Uh, but most importantly, so have the kids. So on the end of the first day, um, 
you know, I came back, I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I was going to get tears or anger or just complete utter tiredness and all the usual drama. Uh, however, they were all really excited. They all had a really good time. Uh, there'd been obviously big improvements. Um, both my oldest son and my daughter had stepped up to three classes, like from, they'd break, kind of break the classes up into uh, multiple tiers so that you kind of with people of you know, basic levels, it depends on whether you can do a turn and a stop and those types of things. So they went we were at level three by the end of the first day. And my youngest son, he has gone up to level two on the first day. Uh, and that was enough for us to kind of catch the little chairlift in Friday flats up together and just kind of go down nice and slow and kind of holding hands and holding them up and everything like that. So my son, he was just kind of, my oldest son, he was just kind of going down and and um, on his own doing turns pretty confident. He, he was already trying to pick things up, telling me about, I saw him do a 180, you know, doing some jumps and stuff like that. So he, he was already quite getting into it. Um, my daughter was kind of, you know, she's on skis, she was doing the pizza, they call them now. Um, and uh, and not really turning, um, but had enough. You know, I had to fight with her to get on to come on a little chairlift with me, but she did it. Uh, and my youngest, he was kind of like just hands on the ground the entire time, just doing 360s and turns. But going down, he had the confidence to go down with his speed. So that was in the day one. Um, Talking about the day two, they were all excited. They went straight into their classes more or less without problem. Um, uh, rare and to go. Uh, I took off up the mountain. It was a much more blizzardy day, uh, so a lot more, a lot colder, um, a lot more wet, a lot more wet for them. Uh, so I didn't know how it was going to turn out again. Um, when I got down to pick them up the afternoon, this, the step up had been dramatic again. Uh, like my daughter, I, the first thing I did was put all three of them on a chairlift. So the four of us went up a chairlift together, and um, just a little one on Friday flights. It's not a big thing, and. So when we got to the top, my oldest, he took straight off to a jump and disappeared. My daughter, who I had to hold his, her hands to go down uh, the day beforehand, um, I turned around, she was gone, poof, straight down the hill. Um, she was off. Uh, and then my youngest, who the coach, the, 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 the teacher had said, hey, he's got to work on his heels turns. So I just, we talked about heel turns a little bit, and then he started going down, doing some sprays, a couple of spins, started to link some turns together, some S's and everything like that. I was like, oh, wow. And I got to my son and said, well, why don't we go right up the mountain? And he goes, yeah, yeah. So we, we taught the last chairlift up, like last person on the chairlift got right at the top uh, and then took a blue run, which is kind of the medium tier run. We were going to take a green run, but they were already um, closed for the day and went all the way down from the top um, on high noon, if anyone knows, straight by, all the way back down to the bottom. And he took it in stride, like he did really, really well. So, you know, a goal for me at the start of this process was that I could go to the top of the mountain with my kids and ride down with them, at least my oldest and hopefully my daughter as well. And already I've done that with my son on day two and my daughter has already been up to merits, which is the high things in her class with her classmates. So I'm really confident I'll be able to do that on the end of day three. Um, and then on day four, which is the day after our lessons finish, I think we will actually be boarding and skiing together. So, uh, so far, so good. Um, I did talk to my wife about um, this on the drive back and I was just saying to, you know, I just don't think we would have got anywhere near this kind of progress if it was just us doing it. And I think there would have just been fights and tears and anger. Um, if you're a parent, you probably know that sometimes it's just good to hear it from someone else. But uh, yeah, so far, I've got to say, definitely trending, better than what I expected. So we'll see how things go on day three. Uh, but uh, so far so good. So the sun is setting on our five day adventure down here at Threadbow. Three days at the start there where all the kids were in their lessons. And if you recall at the start of this video, I said, oh, my goal is that I'll be able to take 
my son up to the very top there and we did it on day four and uh, went up there in a blizzard and came down a black diamond and he handled it fine, went the whole entire way all the way down. Since then I've taken both my daughter and my youngest son who was in the riglets uh, up to Merritt's. My daughter also went down high noon which is a blue run so medium level run and my, yeah, my youngest he went down walkabout and that's a green run going down from Merritt. So up on a big chair lift up to the top of the hill and down again after three days of lessons. So that's pretty much exceeded or it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely exceeded my expectations. Like when I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great if I could go down there with my son at the end of all this? I really didn't think we'd actually get there. Uh, but three days of lessons, I don't know if that's the sweet spot. Obviously, everyone's kids are going to have different levels. Some are going to be faster, some are going to be slower. Some are going to be just like my children. But I think um, as an investment to go, you know what, I don't know if we'll ever do lessons again, whether from now on they just kind of uh, self-teach. But as you go through, um, those three days there was definitely progression and I don't think if we had done those three days that we would have got to that point of being able to go up to the top of the hill on the fourth day making the most of it. So with that all in mind if you've got the ability to make that investment and spend that amount on a child having three days of lessons from my experience you're absolutely going to get your value out of it because I was able to experience snowboarding from the top of the hill down to the bottom with all three of my children after those three days of lessons. Pretty good if you ask me. Anyway, I'm Chris here from Find Out. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, I'm back on the road.